Welcome to Triangle English News. I'm Tiffany Zhong. I'm Noah Lin. With the arrival of autumn, here came our annual spooky party of Halloween. This party was held by the Department of English Language at Daye University on 15th November 2009. The students who took part in the event dressed themselves out to be all kinds of girls, like vampires, wolfmen, serious killers, Chinese girls, and Japanese girls. As a result, it looks like a special cosplay party. Actually, Halloween party is one of the tradition of the Department of English Language. This idea is that it is very hard to learn and touch the real American native culture in Taiwan. Thus, in order to make our students to have a real taste of Halloween parties, this activity creates the environment for our students to feel how and what the people do in Halloween in America. Students from the department did not only play the game about trick or treat, but also had this fancy party. The Department of Human Resource and Public Relations at Daye University held a Candy Flows Festival on 29th October 2009. The students set their Candy Flows Center in the Central Square of Management College. It's held annually and it is also traditional for the department. There was candy flows of three different colors. Every color has its message and implication. Pink candy flow stands for your care and love to favorite person. White candy flows shows your sincere wishes for good friends. Blue candy flows present your respect and friendship to teachers. There were a lot of people attracted to the central square of the management college on that particular day. They both candy flows for their friends, teachers, and lovers. Our reporter asked some students, how do you feel about the candy flows festival? On October 31st, 2009, the 10th Asia Pacific Bonsai and Suzuki exhibition took place in Xihu Park in central Taiwan. Over 15,000 people from different countries joined the beautiful event, including America, Korea, India, Japan, France, and Germany. During the opening for the exhibition, local people were invited to present a Chinese dragon dance, which means good luck. In addition, they combined dance of Chinese gods with modern popular music. We can call that a mixture of tradition and fiction. Most of the audience was surprised and amused by the performance. The exhibition was getting more and more popular, so even the president Ma Ying-jeou came to participate in the opening ceremony for this exhibition. A visitor from South Africa expressed his appreciation because these arranged trees were made to be closer to the nature than before. He stressed the importance of keeping balance between the human beings and nature. Do you still remember the disaster in Taiwan on September 21, 1999? I believe people in Taiwan wouldn't forget the nightmare of the 921 earthquake for good. Now, 10 years have passed. At Daye Library, we are having a special book exhibition to grieve over the damage and the wounds caused by this incident. There are books about knowledge of earthquakes, including what to do in a quake and how to go through the disaster. The exhibition is located on the first floor of Daye Library from 1st November to the end of the month. If you have time, come and pick up some books. You will understand how powerful the earthquake is in both the positive and the negative senses. Daye University came off an English song competition on 17th November 2009. The purpose of the contest is to cultivate students' enthusiasm about learning English and advancing the fashion of English learning. Another goal is to encourage students to acquire the ability of international communication and to enlighten students' interests, as well as to give a new image to stereotype of traditional English training. The champion will carry away a cup as the prize and 10,000 anti-dollars 
So, the Mithna chance to make your dream of being a queen or a king of English pop music. The SNU graduation drama from the Department of English Language at Da Ye University will take place at Yuanli Performance Hall in Zhanghua County. The show will start at 6.30 p.m. on 12 December 2009. The title of the new drama is Checkmate. The script of the play was created and written by the students themselves. The story is about how five people make decisions for their careers. To become the masters of their own journey of life or to turn into the choices of the game that the devil plays. The mission is free. You may collect the tickets from the office of the Department of English Language from 12.30 to 30 p.m. on 60th through 30th November. You could also collect your free tickets on the day of the performance at the ticket office of the Yuanlin Performance Hall at 5 p.m. on 12th December. The students have their hearts set on your attendance, so please come with your friends to join them for this fantastic drama. Recently, very often, you may see a notice. I've added you on my Facebook in your email. Facebook is a new website similar to Amazon but provides more functions. Just a few years ago, there were only few people who visited this social network. But Taiwan became the country with quickest growing speed of the global Facebook users. And the growing rate reached as high as 9.24%. According to an online survey from the Marketing Search Agency, ARO, in August, the arrival rate was 44.93%, ranked the fourth in the social networking size. Following Microsoft's last basis, Young Skytribe, and The Plug. In August, there were more than 5.72 million visitors in Taiwan. The Facebook was established in the U.S. in 2005, but on, only in 2008, the Chinese interface appeared, but still not many visitors. Only after the appearance of homepage game, The Happy Front in July, the member population suddenly grows dramatically. According to ARR survey in August, there were approximately 62% of Taiwan users sent out application for the happy from. However, it seems that the users spend a lot of time on the happy from to harvest. Parents begin to complain that students only care for their own farms to check if nothing was stolen, but cares about other things, like their homework. Some parents worry badly about the game because it may give a bad education to the users that stealing is okay and normal. Obviously, a war between the reality and the cyber world is gradually growing. It's time for parents to step in and pay attention to how children use their computers and the internet. This is for today's news. Thank, Thank you for watching. We will, we will see you next, next time. time. Until okay. then, take okay. care. She said, some days I feel like shit. Some days I want to quit and just be normal for a bit. I don't understand why you have to always be gone. I get along.